Trust is a mystery. Trust is the mystery of all mysteries, my friend. Yeah. You can't trust the people you're around. Or your family. Who do you trust? Who do you trust? Hey, if I can't trust you, dude, then we can't be friends. Okay? Do the Mickey Mouse version of that. If you... (laughs) It's like on cue. Mickey Mouse. (laughs) If I can't trust you... If I can't trust you, then who will I trust? I don't know, Mickey. (laughs) Minnie! Let me see your phone. (laughs) I'm I'm fumbling it. Me and Sam do a way better Mickey impression. That's just crazy because it's like one of our best... Like, when there's nothing to talk about at work, we kind of, like, lean into our impressions. In our autism. Yeah, yeah and that, in our autism, and it, <laughs> it gets us to the date. Yeah. It, it, like, when there's quiet spells, this is what we do. We open up the box. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, golly, boy. <laughs> Minnie, why did you go through my phone? Oh, Minnie, what is this for? Why were you talking to Becky with a good head? <laughs> when, you, you know, Minnie listens to too much Beyonce, it's over, dude. Yeah, that's it's over. That's crazy. Do you think now? Do you think Mickey? Do you think Mickey has a Snapchat? Now, if Mickey Mouse does have a Snapchat, and he's in a relationship with Minnie, is it a? Now, does age matter? Like a younger Mickey with a Snapchat? Or are we talking like late twenties Mickey with a Snapchat? I feel like he would. I feel like he's like uh, the guy who would have a Snapchat. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now let's say Mickey's approaching his thirties. He's in a committed relationship. Does he still need to have Snapchat? I think he follows a couple of artists and a couple of baddies. Just a couple. Yeah. What she's like, a couple she's hundred. Like, who is this, Mickey? <laughs> it's just my cousin. I swear. <laughs> Why are all of them naked? Whoa! <laughs> yeah, because uh, me and you had a conversation today. We asked a couple people by a couple people. I literally mean that because I was going to ask the whole entire workplace about this, but we got kind of caught off guard with actual. We had to actually do our job, right? Work. Yeah, boo. We had a door job. Boo. To- to- tomatoes, tomatoes, whatever. Tom- whatever you guys could prefer. But the, the, the gist of this conversation that me and Sam had earlier today was was, was about Snapchat, right? Now, I personally think Snapchat is the worst app. I'm just going to throw that out there. It's the worst app. I, I don't see a purpose for it. I don't see a point. We all know what you guys do on Snapchat. Okay, mm-hmm. We know what you do. Guys and girls, especially girls. Because girls will be like, hey, I, I don't want to give you my number. We have my Snapchat. Why'd you tell him that? Why'd you tell him that, Becky? Why can't he have your number? But he can have... Oh, because the messages disappear after you're done sending them. There's no proof of your infidelity. You can just block them. Yeah. And to me, honestly, when I was younger, Snapchat was cool, right? It was like, ah, this is the cool new app, whatever. But then you slowly started to realize what Snapchat was always meant to be, right? You watch people smoke on their stories and badly lip sync songs. Smoke, smoke. It's like you'll see that they have like like you're scrolling through their story on on, on Snapchat and it's just them smoking. Or them lip singing really bad, or people are trying to hook up. Oh yeah, a lot of hookups. Yeah, and I it's I never really caught on until like this last year or two, but then I deleted my I straight up deleted my Snapchat. I was like, you know what, dude? There's no reason for me as a 31 year old man to have Snapchat, and I deleted that shit. Like, there's no reason. Basically right? the same. I I I haven't really used it since like high school really you know that's when snap right after high school i'd say a little bit too but that's when snapchat was kind of popping off Um, at its height yeah at its peak at the peak of its power aged myself but um yeah so i i think that it's not the best app there's a lot of really bad stuff that goes on there a lot of Pictures that shouldn't be getting shared, getting shared. Yeah. The people that shouldn't have those pictures. It was also one of the first snitch apps where, yeah. like, if you screenshotted something, it would tell the person. Yeah. What? What is happening? So you're snitching on us for screenshotting. The messages disappear. 
Oh, and as my French counterpart would say, disappear. <laughs> the pictures would disappear. And not only that, but like I all I see is people smoking and, and lip singing to Zonk. So now I deleted Snapchat, it's over. And this is to all if you because I know the audience, I checked the analytics a lot, like 90% of this audience is male. So listen up, males. Okay. The females too, you can listen if you want, because it's kinda is that you too, but if you're close to your thirties, man, and you have a Snapchat and you you have a girlfriend or you're talking to somebody, there's no you don't need to be on Snapchat, dude. Okay, there's no point. We know it we asked people today too. And we asked two people. So I'm I'm making it sound like it was a huge crowd. Me and Sam just picked out <laughs> to me it, was, it felt like a bit surveying bigger. throughout the entire store with a clipboard. We, we I wanted to do that, but me and you only had the chance to do it to two people. Yeah. Uh, one of them, her name was Bree, and she actually was like, "Hey, are you gonna when is this video coming out?" And I was like, "Hey, I'll tell you on next Monday." Oh, but she swear, but <laughs> you know, it's kind of one of those things. Like, if you're single, she kind of made a point. Like, yeah, if you're single and you have Snapchat, that be all go ahead, go ahead, right? But I, in my personal life, I have seen hella people that I was coworkers with, friends with. They use Snapchat for nefarious reasons. Like, it's just for cheating, for trying to flirt. Try to, like, and then what Brie brought up a good point. She talked about, like, what if you have a bunch of plugs on Snapchat, which Snapchat was also used for that. Yeah, still is. You know, people would get their Snapchats taken away. I remember this one girl. I'm not going to say what I got off her because, you know, YouTube, right? But she got her stuff taken away, like, probably like a week after. And she was like, hey, man, I got, you know, Snapchat deleted my stuff, bro. Like, y'all are some snitches. So... It it's a snitch app. The plugs aren't gonna be there forever because they get their stuff taken away. The cheating, the smoking, the ab the 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 stupid ab libbing of songs that you're not even mouthing it correctly to. It's one of those things, man. And a lot of thirst traps. A lot of thirst traps. Yeah, like well, for the majority of the time that Snapchat was really big, I was in a relationship, right? Mm -hmm. And Me too. Why I yeah, like I knew what Snapchat was about. People were trying to hook up. People were being disloyal to their partners, all that stuff. And I was, and I don't know why I didn't delete it then. I should have just deleted it then. I tell Brayden this all the time, right? And Brayden, if if you're watching, because you say you do, don't know if you do. This is, this is, we're going to quiz you. Yeah, we're going to quiz you because I'm going to be like, Brayden, I mentioned your name. What did I talk about? Okay, but I tell Brayden this all the time, right, Sam? I say, hey... You know, as a young man, because you are a young man, and that's actually why I like being your friend is because the age difference between me and you is like is some would say astronomically huge, right? But huge, huge, <laughs> huge. But you don't like you don't act like your age, right? You're like you're you're more mature. Yes. You're respectful. You have a lot of values that I value as a friend because you know, like I, if you were like one of those nineteen year olds that was like walking around here, like it, it getting lit all the time, and of course me and Sam get lit all the time, but we get lit in like a more adult way, right, Sam? Yeah, we're not getting lit like teenagers. Like me and you, kind of like get lit in like a, I don't know how to explain it, but me and you get lit in like a, like an old school way, you know? Old way, yeah. Yeah, like I, I, I'm gonna drink a little bit with my boy, go home, and my wife's getting it, and I, and either way she's gonna, right? But, <laughs> but you know, so. Brayden, I tell you this all the time. For young men who are watching our, for who watch our show, who listen to me and Sam, who are on our TikToks, Instagram, being a young man is hard because me and Sam grew up in a in an era where like men didn't talk to each other. There no. was no communication. There was no you were you were called a pussy for everything. Yep. I couldn't go to Sam back in the day and be like, "Hey, man, I'm dealing with this right now. I'm dealing with some with some crazy." No, you're not doing that. Yeah, like therapy and stuff like that. It's still a lot of people who, like, don't respect you if you you're say going you to therapy, therapy or you, you have problems. Like, it's the shut up and do push-ups kind of argument that... <laughs> it's like, true, though, dude. Like, if you're sad, just shut up and do push-ups. Just shut up and go to the gym. Which, yes, go to the gym. But... That's not going to solve everything you you gotta have people that you can rely on you know it's important man I, I trauma dump on sam all the time i know he says it's fine but no there's gonna be a point where sam's gonna be like go to a therapist dude right so but like it's cool to have friends that like you can talk to about that kind of stuff right and i tell brayden this all the time 
especially if you're a young man who watches the show. I know some of my nephews do, right? So, but it, when, as, so like we were talking about Snapchat and like being in relationships and being loyal to your partner and just not entertaining the goofy stuff. If I could go back to 18 year old Andrew right now and talk to him, and let's say I only had like a minute or five minutes. I, Holy snap, I would change it. I would be like, okay, here's what we're doing. Yeah, I, Game lock plan. in. Lock in, Andrew. <laughs> I'm like, listen, man, you got to, th this stuff's not cool anymore, bro. Like to get lit and everything's a fight and being the tough guy, that's not cool. If you're a young man who watches, who listens to me and Sam, that's not cool. It's not cool to like be with hello girls. It's not cool to be disloyal to your that's friends. That's not and your applicable partner. in the real world. You can't. If you want to be successful in life, that can't be you. You can't be getting in fights all the time, going out and getting lit constantly. Maybe I'm not the best guy to be saying this. But, but you get lit in an old school way, right? Yeah. Like I, you're responsible. Yeah, I, I tend to be on the more responsible side of getting lit. <laughs> yeah. And it, it's fine, right? Like, you know, like you're not, when me and you get lit, it's not like you don't, you still go to work. You still take care of your responsibilities. You still go home and work on your content. This guy's been, I, I messaged him the other day this, but he's been killing it with his uh, MMA blogging, right? Like Sam's doing something that a lot of people do not have the courage to do. Chase their dream, work on their stuff, take criticism, take good critici criticism, right? Like Sam's doing stuff that I was scared to do when I first started. So the point is, it's not cool to do that stuff, man. It's and I, Braden, I told you this the other day, but I'm I'm glad you are the way you are because it it gives me hope, right? It gives me like faith that like something is clicking with you, younger men, and in, in that from your era. I think we got a good. What what is it, Gen? Is, I don't. At, is it Gen Z anymore? Is, is I don't know. Gen A is. again? I, I don't know how it works. I think me and you are at the age now where it doesn't matter. Gen Z, Gen Alpha, whatever you guys are called. But but they look like good kids, like they smart do. kids. Um, well, most of them because autistic. they were grown up with so much content in front of them. I think it kind of melted their brains. Yeah, they're they're all they're a bunch of TikTok goofballs they're all autistic too yeah yeah to be which is fine. yeah, which, we, yeah. We all are we are we all are a form of it yeah <laughs> so i i think that the that gen is actually going to be a solid in terms of contributing they understand because of all this content they see they see good people on the internet like mr beast or whoever you wanted to i love mr beast man yeah his content is amazing and the impression he has on millions of people the second he puts out his video is crazy. Like, he shows a different side of what you can do with your money instead of buying Lamborghinis. Or and, buying islands. Yeah, you buy, like touch well, kids he, did on, buy uh, an, he did buy an island. Okay, well, he didn't touch kids on that island, uh, as far as I know. Uh, you know, so I'm saying, allegedly, <laughs> allegedly yes. Because you never know, like, maybe 10 years from now, but right? But, like, Mr. B, you're right. Mr. B says he does so much good. And I, as, as I know me and Sam like to make a lot of crazy jokes and he's probably saying, Andrew, you don't like to make a lot of, but you know, we both, we both say some crazy things. Like we both, we both, that's why we, we work so well because like Sam allows me to be me when I'm around him. Right. And Sam can be me when I hope, hopefully you can be yourself around me, bro. Cause I don't judge you. Like you I almost said I can be you. You said you can be me. I meant to say you could. I meant to say you could be you around me and vice versa. I know, but, I know, uh, I know. I haven't even, you know, but, but, but yeah, Braden, man. Um, and for the young men and women too, but especially because I know my audience is a lot of young men, so I have to be responsible. Shout out to tape. the women out there, Caitlin Clark. Yeah, you showed thing. me. You showed me a stat line that we're gonna get to. Points. We're gonna get to that in a minute because a the, the women's basketball is more exciting than than a lot of the men's sports but before i end off on that before i end off on that on this little tangent um yeah it's just it's not cool to do that guys it's not cool to to be disloyal to your partner it's not cool to be disloyal to your friends and family be honorable do the right thing have fun too but have fun at the same time but like you'll notice that when you start to be more like of a loyal friend and you keep you stand on business and you keep your word and your friends and family can trust you, it works out better in the long run, right? 
you may lose you're going to lose a lot of friends i i'm, I'm telling you right now when you're around the night from like the 18 to 24 age group you will feel very lonely because everybody else is out partying and having multiple sexual partners every week and a lot of drugs right like and you will feel alone but in the long run you will come out on top i promise you that's what i would if i can talk to 18 year old Andrew, i'll tell him right now hey cut that shit dude work out more play i used to play a lot of basketball sam speaking to Kay Clay caitlin clark i used to play a lot of basketball one of my favorite sports ever me and my brother would be outside exactly. i'm not shitting you from 9 a.m till 10 p.m when it, when it was dark yep my stepdad said, a, get a your ass outside. We had a basketball hoop right outside. So I was always playing basketball. It was fun, right? Shooting off fireworks, you know, being a kid, you know. The second we woke up, my st my stepdad for years would straight up look at me and my brother and say, you guys go outside. I don't want you back in all day unless it's to go to the bathroom. I was like, okay. We'd go outside. And I'm telling you right now, basketball used to be one of my favorite sports to play. But as I got into my early 20s, like I thought other stuff was more important. I thought being lit and cool and tough i thought that was more important and i regret it right so just you know you guys don't even have to take me in sam's advice hey you guys can right here kobe right in the trash but you're gonna be at a point one time in your life when you're like me and sam and you're gonna say to yourself i should have listened and that's the keen and event that all of us go through our elders tell us stuff we don't listen then when we become them we should have listened. When, when you're young and you're in your teenage years, 18, 19, uh, all the way to like 23 or 24, it feels like you go through an evolution at 24 where you realize everything you messed up over the last like four years of being an adult, you know, uh -huh. and you wish you could have gone back. So I think that the key is find your niche find your friend group that care about you and do what you love 100% man especially in today's day and age with you youngins um uh you, you guys can really do anything i mean when me and andrew were growing up being a youtuber is infeasible yeah cuz we didn't have the access to this type of equipment exactly it, it just wasn't a good concept there it, it everyone was like it's a one in a billion chance there's smosh there's yeah uh, uh who else uh there was like yeah there was like a you, you kind of hit the nail right there when you said like our parents would be like it's a one in a billion chance you're never gonna do it exactly and if i was to go back and tell my stepdad now like hey on tiktok i have so so much this this and this followers Back then, he would have been like, you're never getting that. You Buy know that, some right? equipment for me, Dad. Right? Like, you guys are you guys came up in a different era. Like, your parents are more understanding. I feel like they are. Like, that you are allowed to do more. You have access to more. You have more access to education. The internet is Google's right there. Obviously, don't believe everything Google says. But you have access to more. And use it for good, man. Like, you know, we need more Mr. Beast in this world. We don't need more, like, Jake. Jack Doherty. Yeah, we don't need more Jack Doherty's. Please. We do not need more Jack Doherty's. None. Like, I'm sick of it, dude. And, like, where when did it become, like, cool to, like, disrespect your friends and your partner? Like, I never understood that. Maybe it's the music we grew up listening to. I mean, but, Jack Doherty's content is literally just going around and disrespecting people, you know? Like, bullying them and shit? Yeah, basically. And, like, pushing them around and having a security guard do that, too? Yeah, it's like, yeah. Like, that's not... I mean, hey, I get it. but I don't get it, but I get it at the same time. So... You, my friend, mentioned Caitlin Clark. Mm -hmm. She is on a tear. She is. Uh, I was just thinking of like a comparison for her, and I came up with the female Victor Wembenyama. She, hey, that's not, in my opinion, I watch. So she came, she like came across my radar in the, within the last couple years. But what's really impressive with women's basketball, especially the NCAA, is I see more highlights and I follow that more than the actual men's NCAA. I can't quite agree with that. that I mean, I'm just saying me, but like, I'm, you know, 
Because with that, when it comes to the NCAA basketball, I, I I I know the names, I've heard the names, but I don't. I have no interest. This year's men's basketball kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie. There's no crazy prospect again, you know, right now. Um, I mean, there's a couple in the college rankings, but there's another French kid and another seven one French kid. That is the projected number one overall pick. Get the Frenchies out of here, dog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The French are taking over yeah, the league. Yeah, the French try his dog. And then Zachary, another French guy, is the second projected overall pick. So. Well, she she did a really important thing that you're probably not going to... Like, you might overlook this, actually, but she balanced. Like, she. there's always that generational white person yes. that comes into a league... And just rocks it, right? We had Luca, Luca, Christian McCaffrey. Yep. Caitlin Clark. Yep. Caitlin Clark. Who? Who's another one you can think of? Like a generational. Like there's always obviously in the past there's like Larry Bird, right? Yeah, Larry. Jason Kidd. I mean, he's Jason probably not fully Kidd, white, Dirk. but Dirk, right? There's always but, is Jason but, Kidd white. <laughs> who cares? He's, he's mixed. He's white enough to me, dude. <laughs> Jason Kidd, you're white, bro. Come on, look at this picture. You're gonna tell me he's not. <laughs> I'm I'm more black than Jason Kidd, dude, and I'm not even black at all. So that's crazy. Well, and you're Steve like Steve Nash. Steve Nash. Uh, you said Dirk. That's a good one. Dirk, Steve Nash, like the, so. Caitlin, she like she balanced the universe, right? The universe. But they're all Europeans in the NBA, basically. So do you think she's gonna do join the big three, bro? She should take the five million. Yeah, that's dude. that's crazy. The. I've heard a lot of rumors that the WNBA is going to adjust the contracts specifically to land Caitlin Clark. Which would be changing the entire sport. Uh, If you don't know, the WNBA basically uses the NBA and their money to help support their money because they yeah. end every single season in debt. And loss. And, yeah, the and NBA's loss. money is what keeps them afloat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, it's a dangerous move, but I think Caitlin Clark is the kind of star. I'm not saying that she is Victor in her skill set, yeah. but I, I'm talking about in terms of the hype. I, I think right now she's like one of the top five most talked about stars in sports. And like general, not just like female yeah. sports, but like in general, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, who else is there? There's Jokic, Luka, LeBron. You know, she she's up there getting talked amongst those guys and she's special, man. Yeah. She Especially really for someone like me who doesn't watch a lot of NCAA basketball to begin with. And never have. Even back in my heyday when I was like really, really into basketball. Like I would, but I wouldn't, right? I was more into like NCAA football. Like I love the the college football. But for someone like Caitlin to like come across my radar, that's important because she's she's reaching people who don't even like really pay attention to ncaa women's basketball he doesn't really even pay attention to the like nba so i used to man that's what sucks that's what i'm trying to tell you i used to man i like haven't you noticed that when we talk about nba basketball i know a lot about the past yeah yeah yeah. like i'll mention things to you that you're like oh he knew about that yeah. But within the last like six years, I'm not gonna lie to you, Sam. Not really, bro. <laughs> the last year I really, really paid attention to was when the Lakers won the bubble ring. Yeah, 2021. Yeah, that's the last year I really paid attention. After that, I just kind of I don't know what it is, but it's not that I fell out of love with basketball. I I can't really explain it, and maybe it's just one of those things. That maybe you just people. haven't found your guy. I I think that's important. Like if you, I don't know if you have a team, the Lakers. Yeah, that that well because I grew up there, so yeah, yeah. They don't have like an exciting prospect. That that I think that's a hard place to be, as an NBA team without like an exciting prospect, on the up and up. I mean, you guys have yeah, LeBron well, and because yeah. he always does that thing. Every team he goes to, LeBron always takes the all their young draft people picks and just sends them away, sends the draft picks away, the young people away, and then he just puts gets everyone Westbrook through. gets he these does that guys everywhere. that are stars. Le GM, as they call him. Yeah, and then when he leaves, that team is, you know, well, the Heat did pretty good after LeBron left. Like, they still recovered pretty pretty nicely for what happened there. So They also have Eric Spolstra, so yeah. he's just kind of a cheat code. Best coach in the NBA right there. I like that term you use, the cheat code term, because yeah. it's like you could use that for so much, you know? Yeah. Like, you called me a cheat code for the camera thing. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it is a cheat code, actually. Yeah, he, he hacks the 
camera, so it won't adjust when I use it, but it no, always I mean, adjusts when he works. That's kind of funny because it took me a long time. So what Sam's talking about is before shooting, we have to like press this button to like, you know, focus in on the person talking. And bro, I still like won't ever give you shit for it. Like I'll, I'll literally, I w- I'm not joking. I will legitly sit here for as long as it takes. I have patience with you. Right? I'm not gonna be yeah, mean. I'm not gonna be mean to you about Just it. Like ten yeah. years from now, that's gonna be the thing that ten years later, <laughs> yeah, you know. But and then, but when I touch it, it just instantly does it. Yeah, I think it might be racist. That or it it just maybe it's my soulmate, dude. Oh, maybe yeah, maybe you guys are love bind, binded by love. Yeah, the the camera just knows me, and like when my brother tried to teach me how to do this, I don't. I don't specifically remember like how long it took me to learn how to do that, but it wasn't easy for me either. Bro. Like I was like, I need to buy that exact camera and just sit there for an entire month, just you know, locked in. Now that you say that, maybe I should be mean about it, bro. You know why? Because my brother's like, he's my brother will never agree with me right on this, but he's like extremely autistic in my opinion, and I feel like I have a good autistic meter. Ask any of our friends, right? My brother is just. He's autistic, bro, and he's really blunt and rude about things. Like, so when it comes I to love stuff like people like that, actually. Yeah, so th- maybe that's why I learned as fast as I did because, like, I'm so under the pressure of, of of trying to impress my autistic brother, who's like really rude and blunt, and he has no emotions, right? So when you try to like, be, you know, say something that like might garner like a loving comment, it's just like, what? What do you mean? I don't know. Like, it's always like, <laughs> you know, it's like so blunt and sharp, right? So. Maybe that's why. Maybe I gotta start doing that, dude. Maybe I just gotta go like this while you're trying to do it. I'm like, oh, you almost done, but I almost done, bro. <laughs> maybe that'll make it work, I'll dude. Diet, bro. Yeah, dude. I can't imagine you trying to be mean. I know it sucks, man. Well, especially with you, I actually really like you, so I'm not gonna be mean to. You know, like, but if you were around during my brother days when my brother was doing this, woo! <laughs> it's like, what's going on here, bro? And like you've you've probably talked more than Justin in the the last two months that I've we've been doing this. You've probably talked more than him in the fucking four years that he did this. It's it's it is what it is. It's statistics stuff. And Justin knows, right? And his friends tell him too, but he just doesn't listen. You know, that's statistic <laughs> in him. He just doesn't care. Doesn't want to listen. I'm not autistic, bro. Yes, you are, dude. All right. Hey. Yes, you are. Um. What is coming up this month? There, so on the eighth, there is an eclipse that's supposed to be happening. Yep. I did some research on it because everybody was talking about it only happens once every four hundred years, and you know there's going to be darkness for three days, and the national guard are being put on watch. And though some of the stuff you guys are were talking about is, I looked up like CERN. Now, people have had a huge problem with CERN because why are you guys messing around with that type of stuff, right? They're supposedly, and I'll put it up here, they're supposedly going to you know, get back up and running around April 8th, which is when the eclipse happens. What are, What is the odds, okay? What are you, Fire Lord Orze? <laughs> the, the, the time the, the, the eclipse happens, oh, we're just firing up CERN. <laughs> no, no, right? So that part, that was the only part that I said to myself, you guys have a point. That's actually wow. Why do they? Why are they firing it up on the day that the eclipse happens? Right? Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, sussy. But everything else, it didn't happen once every four hundred years, right? There, there's some stuff that I read that I think it was like once every. Let me pull this up real quick, Sam. I actually have it right here. All right. So I I got this from like, and I know you guys are gonna laugh, but there's a lot of science articles I was reading. This is where I got them from. Okay. So boom, 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 boom. Okay, this part I should have should have done more. Uh... You know what? F it, dude. I'll put it up later. I'll put it up in editing. But it wasn't every four hundred years. This happens. Well, like on the human year level, it's about twenty to fifty years. I I think the last one that happened was not too lo- that long ago. And it's not going to be darkness for three days, guys. Okay. There's going to be darkness for a couple minutes, and that's it. Forever. Forever darkness. I, I don't know if you've read about this. What but would like, your reaction be if, like, we get 
a month in and we're like, oh. So. It's snowing. <laughs> in the middle of summer. I know a lot of people see me as the conspiracy theory guy. I get it. And I deserve that title because I've said some crazy stuff that I, I believe in. Right? But there's been a lot of stuff on this channel, which one of the episodes that I was against got taken off by YouTube. YouTube took off the Peruvian alien episode that like straight up removed it from my channel because they said I was spreading harmful conspiracy theories. Well, in that episode, I said, hey, I don't actually think that there's aliens here. I think that that's probably something else that these villagers are seeing. Like, you know, I think people are overreacting, right? So I said that in the episode, they took it off, right? So with this, and it's the same thing with the lady on the plane, where she's like, you mother this mother effer is not real right when she said that on the plane didn't think she saw a lizard person i was like nah she's probably just drunk got a little tipsy before getting on the plane and freaked out guess what ended up happening she drank a little too much got kicked off the plane that's what happened so with this when people are like there's gonna be darkness i don't think that's what's happening i think it's gonna be a couple minutes it's gonna be cool and we'll all go back to normal right but there's a lot of you who are like, who, I, and a lot of you, let's be honest, are mentally ill. A lot of you are mentally ill. Like the, this field, the conspiracy theory field is not filled with good people. Someday, you know what I mean, Sam, right? Yeah, I agree. Come on. Like, I like this stuff, but we're, are we going to sit here and not act like these people aren't like severely mentally ill? And that's just what they are. And I, I, get, I get it. When I, when I clip this, because I'm going to clip this and I put this on TikTok or wherever I'm putting this on. The, the comment section is going to be filled with, you don't believe in flat earth. You don't believe in, you know, you don't believe in this. No, like, I don't believe in every conspiracy theory. It's not healthy for your brain. It's not healthy for your life. No, not at all. I think that getting to the point where you're looking for conspiracy theories is dangerous. You'll, you'll go down a dark rabbit hole. Now, what you said, now let's say... By chance that it gets dark for that many amount of time, right? Okay, that would be scary. I, what the hell would we do if it became dark for that amount of time, right? If it's a month in and there's no sun and it's still dark, yeah, maybe the, the Coast Guard needs to be called, right? Because people will start writing, people will start, you know, freaking out. Fix and the sun, fix the <laughs> sun, <laughs> fix the sun. <laughs> Make songs about it and. Joe Rogan's probably going to... Hawaii is going to go crazy. They're, they're going to have the biggest bangers. I think the Hawaiians are going to pop off. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Islanders kill it with that type of music. Yeah, yeah, Like, we, like sun... white people aren't good at making music about the sun. Yeah, yeah. That, okay, that... Soundgarden did. Black Hole Sun. That was, that's fire. But, you know, like... Uh, yeah, that's... Old. Islanders kill it with that type of music. So... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did you say? Bring bring back the sun. What did you just say? <laughs> Why did I almost almost hiccup? I didn't want to hiccup. But like, it's just like you guys. Come on, man. Like, like I get it. Like, and I'm in this field. I have experience in this field. I get a lot of my best videos are in this field. I can't, but I can't with a good faith just believe in every single fear mongering thing that people say on TikTok and Instagram Reels, man. It's not healthy. It really isn't. And my friends all make Warren and them like Warren will make fun of me for days. Talk about you believe in that. Yes, I do. But I also don't think that there's going to be a month of darkness and the the shifting of energies on the planet. And, and I, I, I'm not that far in. I'm going to get a lot of heat for this, Sam. You know, that, right? the mentally ill people are going to they're going to show up in the comment section and I'm going to get called every name in the book. I'm prepared for it. Let's go. I'm going to wear sunshades inside next episode to block out the sun because, you know what I mean, to block out the haters, <laughs> block out the haters. But, you know, I think being friends with you has kind of leveled me out a little bit, right? Because I'll say something crazy and you're never going to stop me from believing in lizard people. Like, that's never going to happen. But, you know, that's I love you, Sam, crazy. but that's never going to happen. On. That's never going to happen. I, I just, I just, hey, I, I, I need definitive proof. I have a point, and I, but you know what I mean? I, 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 how can you prove lizard people are real? You can't prove that. There's no way to prove it unless, like, you literally go, like, on some Scooby Doo shit, rip off. President Biden, what? <laughs> He's like, kuts, 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 kuts. you know, I'm the president. He, like, starts, like, slithering and, like, the, the rattling, you know? But, like, when I say the lizard people thing, like, I, I kind of, 
I see it in like a, I, I, I know it sounds like a serious thing, but it's not. It's fun, right? It's like one of those things like, oh, wait, what do you believe in? Whoa, oh, oh, the wizard people, whoa, oh, oh, oh. you know? Like, I'm half serious, but I'm not serious. You see what I'm saying? How can you be serious about lizard people, man? You know what I mean? I guess I could... you got to be serious about something. I think I figured it would be uh, lizard people and hot dog eating competitions. Yeah, we were supposed to have a hot dog eating competition that never happened. And I, hey, our store manager said it would happen. He said I we could do it. I still don't believe that you ever had this conversation. We did. I'll prove it to you. I'll prove it to you. <laughs> he said we didn't. Sam knows I'm going to prove it to him now. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't have done this, dude. I'm going to. <laughs> This I'm going to say, a... you You know when you call up your friend, like, hey, bro, can you tell my girl that, like, we, we were just playing 2K last night, bro? <laughs> yeah, nah, bro, we were at the club. You were getting it at the club, dog. What do you mean we were at 2K? We weren't playing 2K. We were just, we were having fun. But yeah, you can't be, you can't be, like, yeah, like, I put scary music over a lot of my clips on TikTok because it's, like, it's entertainment, dude. It's a part of entertainment, right? Like, you're, when you're sitting there at night watching a clip and, like, the scary music starts playing, you're like, oh, no, whoa, oh, go on, no, you know? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not meant, like, I'm not trying to sit here and fear monger. I'm not sitting on TikTok like the, the, the April 8th eclipse is going to block out the sun and the National Coast Guard and the earth and the firmament. And, like, I'm not that deep into it. And I like listening to that stuff. Don't get me wrong. I love listening to that stuff. It's an entertaining. I love when someone sits there with a serious face and starts talking about flat earth. Take a bow, dude. That that takes some cojones to really like stand in front of a group of people or even one person and be like, yeah, the earth is obviously flat. Yeah, like we've never been to space, bro. You know that, right? Yeah. We've never been to space. It was obviously on a set. There's literally a firmament, bro, and like no rocket has ever gone to the firmament. Like they're literally like when the, and when these people look you in the eye and say that, take a bow, dude. Hey, do a spin, do a spin. It's entertainment. I and, love and it. And then you know what I say? Show show me your proof. Yeah, they, and they do what Eddie and, Bravo And they said. immediately bring out their phone. They're like, oh, it was on a bunch of YouTube videos. I don't know. Here, you, here, I'm gonna send you a playlist. A playlist of conspiracies, man. You know what I mean? It's like one of those things. It's like, come on, dude. We it's don't. all my podcast, bro. It's all my podcast, bro. We talk about it. Like, how many listeners do you get? Uh, it, there's like two, bro. There's like two. My mom and my girlfriend. Yeah, and like my 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 friend from work, Jimmy, bro. Shout out, Jimmy. Shout out to you, Jimmy. <laughs> but these people will look at you and they say, come on, dude. You guys are really going to... And that, the, the whole point of this rant or tangent... Is that, yes, I like to entertain things, right? But I'm not going to sit here. I don't want to go on TikTok and April 8th is the sun's disappear. No, stop. Can we coin the word rangent? Rangent, yeah, like a tangent and a rant. <laughs> yeah. yeah, rangent. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, take a bow, Sam. Take a bow, dude. A rangent, dog. <laughs> on this next episode of Rangents with Sam and Drew. Yeah, that's a rangent. So, but before I get off this range, I'm just going to say, and he won't shut up. He's he, he the, the flat earth stuff got him excited. Hey, what you do? Yeah, your cats look like flat earthers. They, one of them is definitely autistic. If we're talking about autistic anything, one of them is. And I, it's just, hey, and you know what I mean? Whatever, dude. But I just don't want to entertain all the BS. I'll entertain a lot of it. And I'll even watch it. It's funny. I mean, when someone's looking at you so talking about what they're talking about, like they, the election was stolen and I'm bro. I don't or, have, have you ever met like the ghost people who like, they'll show you the cringiest, like ghost hunter clips. It's bad, right? It's like, you, bro, this is real. This is you real. know, the YouTubers, cause I think I know you're talking about Chris, the YouTube. Chris Angel. It's bad. They're all Chris Angel fans. It's bad. Or like the YouTuber's voice is like, number five, a ghost was walking through a target. And it's like clearly fake. And or it has creepy pasta. The, the creepy pastas are cool because you know it's fake. These YouTubers will go on YouTube. Number four, a ghost makes a grandma trip in her backyard. And it's like the, the thumbnail looks bad. It's clearly not a fucking ghost. What are we doing here? Eventually, when we, we get out of the Walmart life and we can do this full time, we have to go do an episode where we fly across the country and visit all these haunted houses. Yeah, that'd be nice. And like actually like 
and not fake it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like bring we, all the equipment. We'll get an EMF thing. Yeah, and, dude, and all that. But it, like, because we're doing it in the nature of entertainment and being like, it's just it's ex- and not only is it cool, fun of it. Yeah, we, maybe I'll cry. Like that'd be fun. They're gonna be like, Sam, don't you don't say that in a house full of haunted ghosts. You're like, hey, ghost, what are you doing? <laughs> What you doing? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just get in my stance. I'll start sparring the ghost. Like this? Ooh, what if the ghost is like... <laughs> the ghost is like... <laughs> it's me with the one-two down the pipe. Ah, go out cold. Ah, the Notre Dame logo. <laughs> 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 Him. He starts fighting, bro. All right, this guy won't shut up, so I'm going to end tonight's episode. Uh, thank you for joining me, Sam. Been a pleasure, my man. Bye! Bye! And until next time, guys, peace. Sorry, man. We need to call. Now I'm going to shut the fuck up.